this many community campaigners in one room from 40 years, 40 years of campaigning. I'm Camilla Hale and I'm Chair of Stroud Preservation Trust and I wrote a bid to Heritage Lottery funding all our stories and wanted to do something that celebrated Stroud's, Stroud Preservation Trust's 30th anniversary. And we're very aware that we came out of lots of campaigns in the area, so we also wanted to do something that celebrated those campaigns in Stroud. We put together this exhibition, this is our exhibition brochure, showing some of the pictures of how Stroud looked. That Stroud Preservation Trust have have uh, developed, including their second project was this place, Mills's Cafe, and with his yard and the Moonflower. On to this, which is what we're celebrating tonight, which is Stroud, a town changed by community action, and that's what I call the bid. And this is a series of interviews with 32 people um, talking about activism and campaigns in Stroud in the last 40 years, and an appendix with 67 other campaigns. Wow. Community history project to see how community action has changed the town. SPT grew from community activism. What are other people's stories? How does a town take charge of itself? How do people influence planning? We're still asking those questions. <laughs> <laughs> We're never going to get the answer. Dragging memories out of people. We dragged memories out of Anne, particularly, absolute, the resource, you know, the sort of, na the national treasure of Stroud Preservation Trust, and Nigel Patterson, both of whom were, um, had been right in at the beginning, and Hugh and Ian helped, and then various other founder members helped as well. <laughs> and I, along with six others, uh, helped to found the Stroud Preservation Trust. We'd all been fighting to stop them pulling down the buildings in the Lower High Street, which was successful, of course. Yeah. Uh, and some yeah. of us wanted to be positive instead of negative. <laughs> and there was this row of buildings at the top, which had been empty for 15 years and had rats' yeah. nests oh, and dead hard. rats in the window uh, of the medieval building. And so we went ahead. We made lists of projects, and Anne would go, oh, yes, and there was... You know that chap I met on the high street and I told him he ought to buy the whole of Kendrick Street and, so we put that in. And what about that person that I met? You know that Russian guy? You know, fantastic. Uh, after that was so successful, we moved on and bought the Moonflower building um, and made a difference there by having four flats upstairs, bringing people into Stroud. Now there are lots of people living in Stroud, but in those days, almost none. And then we created with the Shard behind. Masses of material out there still, masses, and the idea was that the material would go to the organisations because Stroud Ballet Project will definitely write their own book and they need all that material. <laughs> <laughs> Shire Training Workshop's nearly 40 years old, they should definitely write a book of all the work they've done, they've got all those people that have been part of it. So yeah, the, the bit about Transition Stroud is just going through how the how Transition Stroud was set up and then how it's developed over the time. It's kind of started off as a fairly informal body and then became incorporated and so it's going through all that process and up to current times and what we do now. There are a lot of things which aren't in this book and I'm beginning to think that we really ought to write another one about creativity mm. and the creativity in Stroud. So, so it's a fantastic town to live in but Mike Goodenough, if you were here, would say that there's a long way to go before we have real democracy. So keep going. And I think every developer who is thinking about developing around the Stroud uh, Valleys should get a copy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what they're taking on. <laughs> I wanted to do a little presentation to Dominique, my co-author, without whom Toast to Stroud, a town changed by community action, and all of you guys, if you've got anything to drink, there is more to drink. All right, so to Stroud, all the work that's happened and all the work that will happen. Cheers.